Josh Holman. That dog had a massacred again. Yeah, Why what, do... Josh? Look at the little uh, otter. Oh, man. Oh, what is it? The sloth? Sloth, okay, yeah. Okay, watch. Put, keep your camera on it. Okay. This is what Abby does. Now, she's not a cruel child, but it's funny because she does this. Say goodbye, Mr. Sloth. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, stay there. Yeah, okay, so we had a discussion on family, or not family, on film etiquette, and we're going to try to work better I'm on her. I'm not supposed to crowd him. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, well, doesn't this be a quick look around out front today because the wife has a play date with her friend? Well, Abby has a play day with her, yes. and I'm the bus driver today. They're going to Nacogdoches. Yeah, it should be fun. Yeah. I've never been to that park. I, I don't think, uh, mm -hmm. I, I know I haven't been to that park. It's over there by the stadium. I looked it up yesterday. Oh, what yes. stadium? What's the stadium? Uh, Abe Martin. Or no, not Abe Martin. Where, where, you know, the college stadium. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Take that loop. You know how I go? To, okay. Like you're going down there to that uh, little uh, river walk thing. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> oh, massacred. Get out of there. Come on. <whistles> Get out of there. All right. right come, on. come on, Rosie. All right. Sweet taters. They're, they're doing their thing. Yep. Oh, man. Abby, she was dead. She went to sleep early. Well, I found her in the middle of the night, though. She wait, She does what I do, and she'll go to bed early, wake up at 3 in the morning, and not be able to go back to sleep, so. Ah, yes. You know, issues, but uh, we got peppers coming up here. I noticed. And they're starting to turn colors. That one's red, I hope, I don't know. Where's the red one? Where did you see on their butt? On, over the, under this, butt? Under the butt. Yo, is that red? I can't that see, I'm not red. bending over. Me neither, and then we yep. got a little bit of an issue with, uh, I think oh. it's called Blossom and Rot. Yeah, oh. no, 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 that's not a good one. Yeah, but it's red. Yeah. Look. Mm. Yes. So, well, it's all this. You look at this one down here, how black it is from all the rain. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, it's bad. So, but we got a oh. new batch coming in after that, so my hope is that this one will be okay. Is that a volunteer tomato? No, I put it there. Oh, you put it, it there? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I tell you, man. Are eggplants supposed to be this slow? I have no idea. I never grew an eggplant. I don't like eggplant. Yeah. I had a feller that I knew one time. He made eggplant parmesan. The eggplant wasn't cooked, and the cheese was slithery. It was gross. And that's my only experience with eggplant. Look at that okra. Slimy okra. But it's just coming out. I need to come snip some of the You might plant. not eat the flowers. Maybe that's why nothing's growing. Eh, it could she's be. Chewing she's on. eating them. She's chewing on them. Well, she'll grow out of it. And this year has been basically interesting, to say it's the least. To say the least. We've had two straight days of rain. Two, three now, right? Yes. We were we formed that bed and we were going to do something with it. But now we can't because it's no. not doing anything. Uh Having said that, you know, and knock on wood, we haven't heat a hundred degree days yet. Oh yeah. So you know, one can only hope. Yeah. But uh, this it's a quiet morning. I'm just trying to get everything for everybody fed up, fed, fed up. Yeah. For lunch, and then we'll probably leave around ten, maybe. Yeah. She's, she's been all over this. I can see her knocking stuff. Well, I mean, here, here's the whole thing. Um, we all homeschool now, and we homeschool for a very good reason, because we don't want to send our children to a government indoctrination okay. camp. Yeah. We don't want our children taught what the federal government wants the children to be taught. So uh, having friendship and stuff revolves around play dates and stuff anymore. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. becomes very important. Oh, yeah. I have found that, you know, since we've all, the majority of us, well, at least here in Texas, I don't know about where you're at, but the majority of us are homeschooling and certain things become a lot more important. Um, church, uh, play dates, yeah. Yeah. Uh, making sure that you don't associate with uh, the wrong kind of people. Uh, yeah. yeah. Because... Uh, 
You know, I said it before. I, I said it a while ago, and it's like this. Uh, there's a storm coming, people, and to prevent it is the easiest thing in the world. We absolutely need the Constitution. The Second Amendment was put in place to uh, guard the First Amendment, all right? It's your constitutional duty to uphold that Constitution. If you don't want to, you know, go to Great Britain, go to France, go to South America, all them people down there, go to Cuba, hell, they want you people down there. I mean, well, I digress, but yeah, so those relationships become very important, right? Yeah. But yeah, if we don't get equal justice, I think that this storm is coming. Yeah. And uh, you know, it, it's starting in Arizona right now. Democrats are all about investigating things until they get caught with their hand in the cookie jar. Yeah, yeah. Okay? And uh, they push. They just can't stop pushing, all right? This pedophilia stuff is getting out of control. California has lessened the prison time for having, what do they call it? There's a oh, word that doesn't sound say. gross. Uh, yeah, anyway, having anything. sex with a child, right? Uh, nasty sex with a child. They've lessened the penalties. Yeah. This is real. People are murdering nine month old babies. This is real, this is happening, all right? Your vote does matter, but you gotta get away from the mainstream media, Hollywood, your football players. You gotta get away from all that stuff. These are not nice people. Turn the TV off. Turn it off. And then look up, I mean. Yeah, the Great Reset, you have to look it up. Yeah, it's, it's bad. You just have to. Uh, it's a worldwide phenomena. It's not just happening here. You want to carefully curate what you see and what your family sees, that's all. Yes. You know, so that they don't get exposed to. Yeah. Until you're old enough to have a, uh, you know. Yes. In detail conversation <coughs> about that. What was you talking about, that comedian? What was he saying? Oh, that Nicky Ger... Ricky? Yeah. Ricky Gervais. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, so I watched this guy that does... He's a Calvinist. And for all you people that That's know, an ADS. No, no, no. no, no. Well. Calvinist is it's essentially uh, from part of the Reformed Christian uh, way of belief, which is kind of where I come from, what I, where we are right now. And uh, he was making a whole video about responding to this guy, Nikki, Ricky Gervais, about being an atheist. Now, he made a whole lot of good points, and, uh, you know, you can go watch it and all that. Um, but the point is, uh, the one thing that he says, listen to this part, and this is what worries me. According to, now, the way that Nick Ricky Gervais sets us this video, he's sitting in the background that makes him look a little very intellectual, and like he knows what he's doing, and you should listen to him because... He knows what he's talking about, right? For those of you that ain't got it, he's the one that went up there to the Oscar thing and cussed all night long. Yes. Yeah, that's your, yeah, that's, that's him. Your, that's your moral compass. That's right your moral there. compass. Anyways, he says, the, uh, there's a lot of things that he said that are you, you a good person with a good, uh, uh, with a good knowledge of their Bible and stuff can just chop in half and throw it away. But the one thing he said is like, Really, uh, there's no reason anybody should know anything about any gods of any kind until they're at least 20. Now listen to that statement. There, first of all... Government they, indoctrination. Yeah, first of all, it's something about them taking away your right yes. as a parent to, to teach, teach your, your children. child any way you yeah. want to, however you want to. They get to say what you teach them, how you teach them, and what you say to them, and who you are supposed to believe, and what you're <clears> supposed <throat> to follow, and all of that. And here's the here's the thing uh, the, the the commentary on that on that video of his uh, that Ricky Gervais's video, you can see all the commentary underneath it. It's just uh, people with no common sense, no, no, they can't even co formulate a coherent argument towards it. There's a lot of cousin behind that as well, but that's not even the point. Cousin is not. It's not. It's not the issue. Okay, you. You know, it's all about the. Okay, here's my argument. Give me a coherent argument towards it. 
but it's like the same thing what happens with every time somebody says something about political you give them a good thought out com comprehensive argument and then you hear cricket right you hear cricket because they don't have a combat for anything like that because they just heard something thought about something and then they they're told to think this way that's the way they think anyways the the one point the guy said uh the the that calvinist said he says he's a scoffer and if you read your bible you know what that means but it means that just they're just mocking yes okay that he's a mocker he doesn't care whether you have an opinion or not don't engage in an argument a theological or god argument with him because he does not care about your point of view. He doesn't want to listen to what you have to say. He just wants to mock you. Yeah. And you will never win an argument. So he's a Democrat. Whatever. Yeah, something. Yeah. yeah. You'll never win that argument. You won't. But, yeah, I and mean. why bother? And that's the thing that really bothers me the most about people like him and about the Democrats. They think they have the moral ground. How can a baby killer have the moral ground? That's right. All right? You can't. Okay, how can a pedophile have the, the moral high ground? You can't. If you stole an election, all right, how can you have the moral high ground? If you are denying equal justice for all, there's no way you can have the moral high ground. I mean, uh, I heard one minister talking about in England, they have part of the curriculum mandatory to teach kids about 127 sex, uh, types of sexes. Or what is it? Uh, yeah, sexes. Genders. 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 Yes. Genders. That's 125, 7, 27 genders. Huh? Seriously? Yeah. But they will have you not talk about God for until you're 20. Yeah. Right. You think that one? Oh, and also, in England, this is the law that gets me. I watched them beat up a minister. The cops. They beat him up on the road. They broke his arm arresting him. And do you know what he was doing? He was preaching the Bible, and he read, I think it's Luke 20, 33 or 20, 31, where it talks about homosexuality oh. is wrong, and that if a man lays with a man, he should be put to death, and it's on him. That's in the Bible. So he was preaching the Bible. Now, what they said is this is a hate crime, yep. even though... He did not offend anyone there. If you speak in England and it could possibly offend someone that's not even listening to you, they consider that hate speech and you get arrested for and it. Going to prison. Yeah. yeah. How it's crazy is that? Thing. But uh, look, the point stands, you know, when person, the, the, you know, there's a lot of ways to uh, start or end the argument when somebody's... Uh, talking about that but don't yeah. even engage yeah you know, the, the bible says don't throw swine uh pearls to swine mm. so if you have well thought of arguments and you, that you can defend don't you bother. know don't bother. It's like, people. this is like digressing and going back into history a little bit. But you all remember that Cavendaw hearings, right? Here's yeah. what the Democrats do. They put this man on trial for basically his life. Yeah. And there was no accuser. This woman never even filed charges. Yet they put him on trial. No, without an accuser, you can't go on trial. This is what Democrats do. I don't care what you believe. I don't care if you totally believe her or not. Uh -huh. You put a man on trial without an accuser. All right? Yeah. Yeah. That is against the Constitution. Now you're going to say, oh, no, no. It was just a hearing for an investigation. Yeah. Well, the man had been investigated six times. The news didn't tell you that. But, yeah, he was squeaky clean, okay? But still, this is what these people do. You've got to turn that TV off and get away from the mainstream media. If you hear a news report, you need to look it up. You yeah. really do. Yeah, just do your own research. Yeah. That's the beauty of this time and age. Right. You can look it up and find out your own answer. But uh, i got to tell you, man, the grapevine, whew, you damn uh, Black Lives Matter and Antifa, you absolutely better stay in the cities. Yeah, yeah, we don't want to hear. We, we don't, don't want we you don't, here. We don't want this drama. No, we don't need it. Anyways. Anyhow. Well, wow, she got 
yesterday, she got like I mean I, I don't know how many tomatoes you got out of here I yesterday. Don't know, buddy, which I love it. Look, uh, I know. Look, they're really everywhere. Fun. This is a great one here. Look at this. Yeah, this kind of. Yeah. Definitely, Ooh. we're gonna grow this one. This this particular seed. Yes. I will have to look it up, but it was like ten dollars a pound uh, yeah. for a little seed package. Yeah. It was expensive. That's it's I, worth it. But I bought a lot. Of it. So it's worth it. it. It resists the cracking during the rain. I don't think I had one that was cracked here, so. Yeah. It's nice. Boy, I tell you, uh, you're lucky that I'm an expert uh, feminine, uh, cinnamon, feminine, filming, filmintographer. Filming, cinnamon, but that was cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. It's not cinnamon. Cinematographer. Cinnamon. Yeah, what she said. Yes. Yeah. And all this fancy editing I do, you guys are lucky. <laughs> <laughs> and look, lemon balm. <laughs> She's going to see it, which uh, is good. She needs to. Yes. Anywho's. That's it, guys. Yes. Ta-ta. Ta-ta for now. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, one other thing. If we can get one person to wake up and just do some research, keep your opinion. I don't care. But for us, it's a Christian duty that we at least try to get you to wake up and look at the other side. If you still want to be a libtard, be a libtard. Ow! Don't she just swapped my butt, huh? Don't call him libtard. All right, if you still want to be a democrat, I don't know what to call them. They're idiots. But anyway, <laughs> if, if you still want to have that opinion, fine. But you need to at least look. Especially like when it comes to the First and the Second Amendment. I mean, and, you know, maybe you should try to read the Constitution. Uh, drop me a line. I'll send you one. They're cheap. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.